the coming of the Son of Man. Good morning. We are reading on out of Mark's Gospel, Marcus Kinjil, chapter 13, from verse 24 onwards. And we read it in time where this pandemic, coronavirus, spreads all over the world and people are in big trouble. Many are dying and also the economy, the world economy is crippled. Jesus talked about it 2000 years ago when he sat outside the temple, he talked to his disciples that before his second coming, there would be difficult times, persecution for his followers, uh, there will be economic disasters, pestilence, earthquakes, wars, and talks about wars. And a lot of people will be arrested under false pretense, and especially those who share the gospel, the good news, they will be, uh, go through a lot of suffering. But this is not the end. He says the Holy Spirit will be with you and he will speak through you, through you and me. Verse 24, those days will be terrible suffering. After that, the scripture says, and we go to the next page, here we have a picture. The sun will be darkened, the moon will not shine, the stars will fall from the sky, the heavenly bodies will be shaken. So we see that Jesus predicts the stars falling down uh, on earth and there will be quite disastrous floods and hurricanes and uh, disasters, tsunamis, earthquakes, and uh, things will be shaken. Even the global climate change and other things is all part of this, what Jesus talked about here. But at that time, at that time, it says here that people will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. He will come with great power and glory. Hallelujah. He will send his angels. He will gather his chosen people from all four directions. He will bring them from the ends of the earth to the ends of the of the heavens. And then Jesus talks about learn a lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see those things happen, happening, you know that the end is near. It is right at the door. What I'm about to tell you is true. The people living at that time will certainly not pass away until all those things have happened. And we are here, yes. We are Jesus' followers right in, uh, in this time. It will not pass away all the, uh, until all these things happen. Look. Heaven and earth... Jesus says here, famous word, verse 31, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words, Jesus says, will never pass away. Amazing. He is the light of the world. No one knows about that day or hour. So you and me, we know the time, as he talked about this time, we can see the signs and this gives us an idea that we are in these last days. But we don't know the hour, nor do we know uh, the day, Jesus says. Not even the angels in heaven know. The Son does not know. Only the Father knows. So now some of you say, so if the Son doesn't know, and only the Father knows, that means Jesus is only a prophet, he's not God. But this is not what the text says. Look. 
In times of changing, the son has become a human being and lowered himself in a human body. God lived in a human body. He lowered himself. That's how he can say this knowledge was given to the father only. This is not when the son is united with the father again in heaven. This was his time on earth. He lowered himself. So the father only knows. That's why it's so important that you and I, we have a relationship with our heavenly father through the son. And then he goes on, verse 33, chapter 13, 33. Keep watch, stay awake. You do not know when that time will come. Look, you do not know when the time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servant in charge. Each one is given a task to do. He tells the one at the door to keep watch. So keep watch, Jesus says. Verse 35. You do not know. You do not know when the owner of the house will come back. Look. It may be in the evening or at midnight. It may be when the rooster crows at the dawn. He may come one he may come suddenly. So do not let him, do not let him find you sleeping. So it says, don't sleep, don't slumber. What I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. As long as it is today. <laughs>